Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education. Modatag Curriculum. Technology and Livelihood Education. Information and Communication Technology. First Quarter. Our topic is. Word processing software. The content standard for this lesson is to demonstrate an understanding of using productivity software. Performance standard, the learners perform the utilization of productivity tools in a safe and responsible manner. The learners shall be able to create MS Word documents with page breaks, auto tables of contents, mail merge, and references. Situational analysis. Your teacher asks you to make a computerized book report. What type of application software will you use? Word processing software. Word processing software is a type of application designed to create, edit, format, and manage text based documents. It offers a range of tools and features that facilitate the creation of documents such as letters, reports, memos, and more. Word processing refers to the act of using a computer to create, edit, save, and print documents. To perform word processing, specialized software is needed to perform this task. Example of word processing software The most popular is the Microsoft Word or MS Word. It is part of the Microsoft Office suite, known for its comprehensive features and widespread use in both personal and professional settings. Next is the Google Docs. A web-based word processor that offers real-time collaboration and cloud storage. It is accessible from any device with an internet connection. Next is the Apple Pages. It is part of Apple's iWork suite, used on macOS and iOS devices. It integrates well with other Apple products and services. And the WPS Writer. A component of the WPS Office suite, offering a similar experience to Microsoft Word with a focus on compatibility and affordability. In your previous years, you had your lessons about word processing and are now familiar with some basic features and commands available in MS Word. Let us see now how much you still remember from your previous lesson by identifying the parts or user interface of MS Word windows. Kindly label the parts of the MS Word window that you know. Choose answers from the blue box. Microsoft Word is designed to help users create, edit, format, and manage text-based documents efficiently. It is a widely used word processing application developed by Microsoft. It is part of the Microsoft Office suite of productivity software, which also includes Excel for spreadsheets, PowerPoint for presentations, Outlook for email and calendar, and other applications. Parts of the MS Word screen. The quick access toolbar, it displays icons for save, undo, and repeat, but it can be customized to include commands you use frequently. The title bar. This displays the name of the current open document, when opening a new file is always displays document 1, or 2, 3, until you save and name the file. The ribbon. It displays the tabs that you will use throughout Word. Each tab contains groups and each group contains related commands. Commands can be buttons or menu. Menu tab or bar. Contains tab option for file, insert, draw, design, layout, reference, mailings, review, view, help, and additional tabs will appear for formatting purposes like table design, picture format, layout etc. As you change the selection on each tab, the options or commands from the ribbon will also change. The file tab. This tab displays the backstage view where you will have the options to create, save, open, and close documents amongst other options, the ruler. There are horizontal and vertical rulers that display when you are in print layout view. The horizontal ruler shows the placement of margins, indents, and tabs. You can also show and hide these rulers by using the view ruler button. The text area or workspace. This is where your text, images, etc. will be displayed. 
the scroll bars. It is use these with your mouse to move up, down, right or left within the document. Next is the status bar. This displays the page number, page count, document view buttons, and zoom control. It will also display current mode of operation and can be customized to include other functions. The view buttons. This is used to switch between views such as print layout, full screen reading, web layout, outline, and draft view. The screen tips. Appear when you point to a command on the ribbon, it includes the name of the command along with a description of what that command does. The zoom slider control. It allows the user to customize the zoom view of the document. Zoom out, decreases the view size of the document and zoom in, increases the view size of your document. The parts of MS Word screen. The page layout tab. It holds all the options that allows you to arrange your document pages just the way you want them. You can set margins, apply themes, control a page orientation and size, add sections and line breaks, display line numbers, and set paragraph indention and lines. The Insert tab, anything that you might want to add to a Word document, you use the Insert tab to insert extra features into your document. Example you want to insert, table, picture, bookmark, chart, header, footer, page number, cover page, blank page, page break. The Insert tab, anything that you might want to add to a Word document, you use the Insert tab to insert extra features into your document. Example you want to insert, table, picture, bookmark, chart, header, footer, page number, cover page, blank page, page break. The View tab. The options on the View tab allow you to change how to view your document and its entities. There are five document view that you can choose from, the print layout, the full screen, the reading, the web layout, the outline, and the draft. Font attributes. It pertains to font face, size, and style in MS Word. The user interface. Display screens, make it possible for users to efficiently control the computer or gadget they are using. The text alignment. Refers to the alignment of words or characters and symbols like left, center right, and justified. The keyboard shortcuts. Usually a combination of control key, alt letters to make the command shorter. The following are the most commonly used keyboard shortcut in MS Word. This is how to open a new document or file in MS Word. First look for the MS Word button. Then click it. Then click blank document. How to add page break. Here's a step-by-step -step guide for various versions of Word. First, open your document. Launch Microsoft Word and open the document where you want to insert a page break. Then position the cursor. Place your cursor where you want the new page to begin. This could be at the end of a paragraph or anywhere else in the document. Number three, insert the page break, then using the ribbon. Go to the Insert tab on the ribbon at the top of the window. Then click on Page Break in the Pages group. While in using keyboard shortcut alternatively, you can press Ctrl plus Enter on your keyboard. Number 4. Check the page break. You should now see a new page start at the cursor position. The document will automatically shift, and the text following the cursor will move to the next page. Then lastly, adjust as needed. If you need to adjust the position of the page break, you can click and drag the break line or remove it by placing the cursor before the page break and pressing the backspace key, or place the cursor after the page break and press the delete key. Here is how to add a page break in a document.
In summary, Microsoft Word's comprehensive features make it an indispensable tool for creating, editing, and managing documents effectively. Its wide range of functionality supports various tasks and workflows, making it a fundamental software application in both personal and professional environments. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.